What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another stipulation draft. This is going to be a good one. We got Mike B here. We're going to do the alternating pick step. Uh, we're going to hide. <laughs> he's, he's in Zen mode right now. We're going to hide all the picks uh, so that I don't know what he drafts and he doesn't know what I draft. I'm going to take a card and put it in the sideboard that's going to be hidden. And then I'm going to close my eyes and give him the mouse and he's going to take a card. And then uh, we're not going to know what the other person picked until we're done building the deck. Chat is also in emote mode only, except for mods. Mods can talk, but we're going to hope they don't ruin anything. And um, yeah, so yeah, so there should be no, we should have no insight into what each other is picking. I'm going to start it off so that I can hide everything and make sure everything looks okay. And uh, let's see how this goes. This is also a stip uh, supplied by Doomsday1981. Uh, we did this once before, and it was pretty sweet. So, hopefully it will be just as sweet this time. And I can't even say anything about this pack, so... Alright, so we can actually put the sideboard... How did we do this last time? Did I put something over it? I might have actually put something over this. Either way, let's figure it out real quick. We have... I'll get a post-it note and I'll put that over there. Oh, old school. Or I'll get some tape. Alright, gotta be quick though. I don't wanna like, time out here. But I will res I'll reserve a pick first. Alright, so we'll do... Oh, that's actually pretty... Pretty visible. What am I taking here? I'm gonna take this one. It's a controversial pick, but I think it's a good one. I'll use this Amazon thing here. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna close my eyes and then I'm gonna give him the mouse. Add to your sideboard. Here you go. I think that worked. Let me know if you can see. I gave you the mouse, it's all yours. Yeah. Okay. Can you see I the can pick? I can see, yeah. Oh, well, no, I can't see the okay. pick, no, no. All right, good. All right. There's no way I'm not picking this card. Don't forget to sideboard. All right, you're good. Oh, okay. I guess I can just open my eyes when that happens. Maybe. All right, make sure that's that's good. So we can't see. All right. He said, there's no way I'm not picking that. That's interesting. Huh. I gotta remember, I gotta remember the pick I made, so then, like, I can at least pick something reasonable based on that. God, but <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. I think I'm just gonna take this, because it's very, very good. In the words of Mike B, there's no way I'm not picking that. But maybe I pick this. I don't know. Oh, boy. All right. So, this is actually tricky. I'm going to take this. I think this is good. All right. Here you go. You good? Yeah, I'm just thinking. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, none of these go with my last pick. That's unfortunate. Yeah, mine neither. Whatever that means. I don't even know where the mic is. I could be like over here. Whatever that means. I have, I, yeah. Okay. All right, you're good. Oh, interesting. Oh, maybe it's this. Hmm. Oh, God. This is really, this is really a whole thing. I feel like it's this after my picks. I have no idea. This could be a, this could be a mess. I feel like our, our the last time we did this, it went great. Um, I, I am concerned that it yeah, won't... last time we did the same thing. That's why I worked out. Right. And that's, I'm trying to, I, I'm trying to like figure out what you'll do and then kind of do a different thing. So we'll see what, we'll see what happens. I'm going to take this. And here you go. Once I right click, I close my eyes and then I hit add to sideboard so that it doesn't, uh, so I don't get to see any of the picks. You're 
You're good. Oof. Ooh, these are going quick. Quick, quick, quick. Um, I know what I have. It, it might be this or this. These are the two I like here. I think I'm going to take this because I know what I already have. So, yeah. Okay. Robert, good job on giving blood, buddy. Saving lives. Also, no commentary about the picks, though, because we are doing a stipulation where it is in mod-only chat. Well, it's in emote-only chat, except for the mods, so. Don't be giving anything away. Oh, somebody subbed. Thank you to whoever subbed while my eyes were closed. Really appreciate it. Or resubbed, either way. Welcome or welcome back. Oh, Mike's yes. got a tough one. The... Oh, no, these are good. It's a vintage cube, man. Some of them got to be good. All right. Oh, it was Robert himself. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Oh, dang. Look at this. Wow, this is a late one of these. And this one. And these, all three of these. Woo. Woo. I think it's just this guy based on our, uh, based on our things. Oh, this card's very good. But not, probably not here. All right, here you go. Go. I listen to them two clicks and I'm like, all right, I got it. Um, I feel like this is probably the safest pick, but I could just play this guy. All right, I'll take this guy. Pew, bam. Oh, I feel like go. you could almost just listen for the mouse to hit the ground. Go. All right. Oh dang. This is all junk. Here you go. There you go. Oh, well, that's not even a pick. Oh, oh, oh. Move to the side. Here, you get the first pick, actually, because I got the last pick, so. Okay. So you basically have two in a row. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, Well, that is not the sound of opening power, that's for sure. No, it's definitely not. <laughs> yeah, it could be like, oh, hmm, I wonder what to pick when there's a Mox or a Lotus in the pack. No. That's not how that works. I don't... I don't either. I still want to take this. Yeah, you should probably take that one. All right, go. Yeah, that's a good choice. I don't know if that was a good choice. Knowing Mike, I almost feel like this is a safe pick. Uh, But actually, this is probably the safer pick. Am I right? I think I'm right. I don't know. He doesn't know. He has no idea. This is also pretty safe, I guess. This pack is pretty unexciting. Sounds like my last pack. Sounds like my whole life. <laughs> Man, this emote only chat is pretty gas. Um, it's either this or this, I think. These are the two options. I'm gonna take this one. Bam. Like Emerald Lagasse up in here. More like Emerald Lagoosey. Is that a goose? Yeah. If I ever owned a pet goose, I would call him Emerald Lagoosey. Yeah, let's take this one. Go. Ooh. Ooh, boy. This is a juicy one. I got this bad Larry. I think it's this bad Larry, though. So many bad Larrys. There's, this, is a, this is a pack full of bad Larrys. Hi, Hunter. But I'll be looking. I'm not. I'm just petting the Hunter. All right. I'm going to take this one. Bam. Ooh. Ooh. This could be good. Oh, but I know this is good, so let's just take that. Take the one you know Go is ahead. good. Dang, he's making some quick picks, boy. I literally took a card that goes in every deck. Oh, is it a little Black Lotus? Something like that, yeah. No. Oh. It could be this, but I, th I like this one a little better. Starfall! I don't have time for stream ever, so queue up to YouTube as I catch you every day. Stipulation, please. Green, black, X, planes, orcas, prioritize, pernicious deed, and never knows disc. Actually, I like that a lot. Let's do that. Cool. Starfall, thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. That will, I will definitely put that, that step in the queue. And I'm going to take this card right now. Okay, we did it. Ooh. 
That's a juicy one. Go. Ooh, that was... Yeah, speak of the devil. Um, I'm going to take this guy. This guy's pretty good. I like this guy a lot, especially in a vintage cube. Oh, he said, yeah, he's taking a creature. You don't know that. Shut up. And it's not important. I guess saying it's a creature really gives away the pick. It could be anything. Right. It could be literally anything. Also, I'm not... I, I don't just call creatures guys. I can call anything a guy. I can call land a guy. You picking right? Uh, yeah, it just took a while for the other people to pick. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. I was just making sure. I don't want us both sitting here with our eyes closed. That's I guess all. this? I don't know. Go ahead. Oh, he's getting real unsure now. God, everyone in the chat knows what's going on. <laughs> oh, God. I like that everyone in chat has seen this deck and I have no idea what's even going on. Oh, God, man. What do I... Oh, he... Ooh, you heard it. You heard it here first, folks. Hoo ha hoo he. Hoo ha hoo he. Do 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 do. There's a safe pick and then there's a good pick. I'm going to take this just in case. Can I go? Yep. Okay. I think it's better than the card we passed. None of these cards are going to matter. So I'll take a this one. Go ahead. Oh god, this is so scary. Oh, this is a This is an interesting pack. Mm, this one's not terrible. All right, here you go. We're at the end, so we got to be a little quicker so we don't accidentally time out. Come on, people. Oh, okay, good. I'm a little goosey. You're my favorite little goosey. Go. Look, that goose isn't even real. Um. All right, this is the last pick. You can grab it, put it in the sideboard, and then I'll do the the pack three open. Hey, it might be relevant. There you go. Oh, I like a good relevant card. Oh, all right. Well, nothing good here. That's unfortunate. I'm just gonna take this this guy. He's good all the time. get past that soul ring unfortunately not dang next time next time <laughs> um what do i take here god this is tough oh you pointed to it <laughs> i was thinking about it i don't even know what this is this is only good no there's no way that's good so i'm not gonna take it yeah I'm... i was just here try this one you you basically touched two of the same cards, so. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, we tried. I guess this one. We yeah, we'll do that one. Go ahead. It's a good choice, man. Matthew, Orr, congrats on the Dominaria draft, buddy. Oh, actually, dang, I can't have the actual stream page up because it's still, it's sitting here like playing the the video. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, biscuits. Oh, I like this one. As long as you got gravy to go with the biscuits. I got all the gravy in the world. Yeah, I'm just going to take this. Nice safe. Nice in the safe. I gave it back to you. Nice in the safe. Hmm. Man, I love all these cards with no pictures on them. Those are planeswalkers. You're right. Sometimes Eldrazi as well. Oh, you're right. Emrakul does that too, right? Oh, you're right. Yeah, we'll try this. He's trying it. Go. Wow, this is going to be like a sealed pool, I bet. This is scary. I really have no idea what direction we're going. I'll just stick to your direction. It's probably the best idea. 
I don't even know what my direction is anymore. Oh, dang. It's rough, man. I'm going to take this. All right. When in doubt, brown it out. I think that's a solid strategy. Excuse me. You don't know my life. Hey, look, it's a card that always whiffs. No, no, that's not good. No, no, no. <laughs> this is good, though. Wait. Oh, wait. What about Big Boy? What about him? Maybe. No, nah, it's got to be this. He don't like Big Boy. Go ahead. That's sad. The members of Outcast are really, really disappointed in that. <laughs> oh, this is a, this is a bad Larry. You know, I'm not going to try drag drinking my water blindfolded. It's not going to work out. It's a good idea. I'm going to spill it everywhere. All you have to do is wait for one pick, yeah, and then you can true. drink it during your pick. Um, I think it's this guy. Do we have any way to, to do this guy? Probably. We have a thing. I don't know what Mike has either. I'm going to just do it. YOLO it, you know? You got to YOLO. Sometimes you YOLO. I gave it back to you. I heard. I gave it back to you. This feels like one of our more uh, mythical morning things that we've that we've done. It has it has a real mythical morning feel to it. Uh, actually, yeah, sure. Go, pick it and ship it. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. Okay, here we go. Someone's been cutting me all draft. What if it was me? That would be hilarious. None well, of the no, cards I wanted see, we tabled. See, we see different packs, though, so that doesn't make sense. That's true, actually. That's a good point. No, wait. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you're right. I would never see the packs that you opened. Which is real interesting. Ooh, all right. Good. He got excited about that one. Yeah, good mythical drafting. That's, that's actually pretty funny. That's a good name. Um, I think it's just this guy. This guy's a nice safety. Here you go. That's a nice fair card. The funny thing is I literally have no idea what you opened and what came back to you because so it's like we're doing two completely different drafts and then hoping we have decks that can a deck that can come together. Definitely taking that bad boy. Go ahead. Oh. Oh. All right. Yeah, I'll take this guy. There you go. Here you go. You get the last pick. Oh. I don't actually hate it. Oh, all right, my we're God. good now, right? Oh, uh, Yeah, we're good. All right. Wow. Thank you. This is amazing. I feel like I picked all of the lands. All six of these lands I picked. No, I didn't take a single land. I was, there was a Steam Vents I could have taken, but wow. I wasn't sure about it. Armag, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, okay, so let's. I'm going to put the cards I picked down here so we can see what each of us picked. I picked this one last pick. Uh, Metamorph, Bane Slayer, Demon Lord, Frasca, Karn. last pick so 22 and 23 and I got one extra last pick sort by color sort by color well we did both go black so that's good you picked way more blue than I did yeah I mean I opened consecrated sphinx and mana drain oh wow yeah. had I known that I would have definitely uh we could be this Grixis is my, here pretty easily. This is my first pick. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, the problem with Grixis, not, any, not really a problem, but we have three white lands. So it's almost worth like splashing for an Ajani or an Ojutai as well. Sure. Um, I can see not playing these. Obviously not this definitely guy. Definitely not Stu. Probably not Bane Slayer either. Consecrated Sphinx is definitely getting played. Jace is good enough. We have no blue fixing lands. We have no blue any lands, really. You're out. Sword is... Man, I should have took that Scalding Tarn. Yeah, you were greedy. Throwing dynamos. Warm Coil was my pick that goes in every deck. That's a good one. 
Demon Lord Belzenlock was me being like, we could try this. We got Abyss and Braids. Mm -hmm. This is a... All right, we take all the lands out for now. The problem is I was taking these these lands in case we ended up like some five-color monstrosity, but that would let us like splash Vraska and splash like a white card. You passed Nicobolus? Oh my god. I did. I feel like we definitely play Warm Coil Engine. I'm just worried about the number of six drops we have here. Actually, He's Vras one of the better ones. Vraska's good. We have a Signet. I don't know if that's good enough, though. I don't think we're playing Zergo. <laughs> good call. That guy just snuck in there. This deck looks reasonable so far. I don't hate it. Double blue mana drain seems a little ambitious. We can just play the leak. It's easier on the mana base. I think this might be the deck. Yeah, I like it. Do we even need Thran Dynamo? Oh, uh, I mean, we are playing a Karn. It's true. So Scrubland makes the Johnny basically a freeze. Well, not really. I don't even know if I like a Johnny here. Like we only have Scrubland, and we have no fetches. Ooh, this mana base is rough. It's only ten creatures. I don't know if Jitte is going to make the cut. Oh, you took a mana leak over Grim Monolith? Interesting. Yeah. Actually, maybe we're just splashing the red, and it's just a blue-black deck. And we just have, like, Rakdos, Signet, and two two lands to make Chandra more reasonable. We only have, like, three red cards. Yeah. How do we always end up blue-black when we do this stipulation? Because they're the best, the best cards. You're right. Yeah, I think this is actually fine. We don't really have a reason to cut red. Like, Chandra is really good. Kolagon's Command and Terminator are both also really good. Terminate just kills everything. We could do it though. Like we could play Kite Sailor, uh, the Gear Hulk. I, I don't want to play it f six drop number four though. Especially with a seven drop and two. Oh, we're splashing for Ojitai too. It's actually Scrubland is almost needed. And we can play Savannah and put in Vraska over Chandra just because it's probably easier to cast. And now the Savannah casts both Vraska and Dragonlord, and the Scrubland casts uh, Dragonlord, and the Golgari Signet casts Vraska. How do you feel about that? Okay-ish. Okay-ish? Yeah. Well, we're going to add four. No, that's not happening. One, two, three. Don't need any of that anymore. Don't need you. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We get 12. So this is 8 and 4, 5, 6, 7. This is 8, 7. And then we have 3 red sources for 2 red cards. 2 green sources for 1 green card. And 2 white sources for 1 white card. I think it's actually pretty good. I think this is surprisingly okay. I also like Makeshift Mannequin because getting back Consecrated Sphinx, Demon Lord, or Worm Coil are all very, very good. Or Dragon Lord Ojitai, especially with Hexproof. I think this deck seems sweet. It's all right. Whatever. Hater's gonna hate. I think we did it. This deck looks great. I'm a fan. Are you ready? We're gonna crush. Are you ready for crushing? I did two steps yesterday. We went 3-0 in both of them. Nice. The first one was that um, I had to pick... I can only pick the, the, the odd number of cards in the pack. So, like, the first card, the third card, the fifth card, etc. So, I couldn't take any even cards in that whole pack. Uh, and then, even mana cost or like even in even pick order? Uh, even in pick order. Okay. And then the second pack, I could only do odd cards or, you know, vice versa. And the third pack, I can pick whatever I wanted. And then the second stipulation was that uh, I could only play even or odd cards in my deck. Hmm. So I went with even. Evens are probably better. Evens are good. Uh, this hand seems okay. Two six drops. It's got three colors in it. We can Kolagon's command much. to discard our own Consecrated Sphinx. And then makeshift mannequin at next turn. 
We could. Oh, that's a good land. Do you see that someone requested a draft? I saw that Starfall did, and I actually I responded to it. If that's what you're referring to. Oh, Pernicious Deed. Pernicious Deed is... Oh, you're responding to. Not me. Okay. Got it. Got it. Um, I'm just going to go Black Cleaf Cliffs because it's... You know, now we have all our colors. No, except for white and a second blue. But otherwise, yes. All of them except for... I forgot we played white. <laughs> we played all the colors, man. This is literally a five-color deck. Great guy, congrats. Oh, we got our second blue. All right. Now we're killing it. We're, we're going to top take an OG tie. You ready? <laughs> I was trying to button to our con My bad. Oh, that's my bad. Oh, History of Benalia. They have one man. I'm really tempted to just play Consecrated Sphinx here. Just to Kolagons command their knight, discard Consecrated Sphinx, and then just reanimate it. But I guess we could just play it naturally. But I want to do something. Do we do it to Bells and Lock and just get the get the cards? Maybe. Oh, I don't know what to do here. I should have had more food before the stream. Did you have any food? I had some cereal. You should order some food and then you can eat it on stream. And people, yeah, then you could be like a, an ASMR mukbang stream. What would you say to an all colorless step? I would be reluctant. Uh, because I think the point of the steps is to be fun and you don't want to actually have the matches be unfun. And I feel like that would be too restrictive. I think it would be fun if there are some exceptions. Right, like if if you can take up to five colored cards, or if power is an exception, stuff like that. I think you want to have exceptions because you don't want to make it super exclusive. Uh, order fifty nugs. I really don't know what to do here. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna kill this dude. Do we discard a card from our own hand? I really like sneaking it. Like they haven't played anything for five turns, for four turns, and they have five cards in hand. I have to assume they have a counter spell. It's hard player discards a card. I'll choose myself. I'll choose this idiot. I'm going to just discard Bells and Lock because I'll always draw the cards from this. And then we're going to reanimate it while they don't have a counter spell up. And ideally, we're going to draw like four cards, but we'll probably draw two. Or one. We'll probably draw one. Oh, oh, that's perfect. What a. Wow, that was a great hit. Not bad. Eight percent chance of getting Flusterstorm there. Also, if they don't have an answer for Demon Lord, we just get to kill them with it. What is where every other pick is auto picked? Oh my. Okay, so my concern with that, and uh, I hate that I have concerns with all these all these draft stipulations. My concern with that is just the time it takes, like just having to wait for the full like forty seconds or thirty seconds every other pick. That could get annoying, but otherwise, I mean, it is possible. Also, I would like power to be an exception there, too, where, like, you can pick the power, but then the next pick gets auto-picked. You know, you just you just delay an auto-pick for a turn if there's a power in a pack or something. But it's usually going to be your first pick. Oh, all right, so it just kills. That's actually a great use of control magic, because if they use that next turn, they would actually get our Consecrated Sphinx. Are we just crossing our fingers that they don't have Mana Tithe or Force Spike? Yes. But we're just Windmill Slamming it, right? I think so. You can also play Vraska if you feel like that. It's, uh... I don't like Vraska because we're only f we're almost forced to kill this. Because if we make a guy, like, I guess we could just chump block. What's the play here, guys? Vraska or Consecrated Sphinx? I mean, either way, if he's got a got him, we've got got. Right, and the thing is, but if the thing is, like, if they don't have a god and they have a regular counter spell, then we're opening the door for that.
Gotta keep them consecrated. <laughs> we can kill the knight. Yeah, that's a that's a solid play. I don't know why I thought that. I, I think I got brass confused. I'm like, oh, you can't kill that. I'm thinking of Fraley's. Didn't have it. Resolve. Don't have Swords of Plashes either. I just want to draw two cards. Yes! <laughs> gas. That was less gasful. Less gasful than I would have liked. But they only have a 4-3 in play. And I don't think they have any way to pump this. So if they actually... Can't remove Consecrated Sphinx. I don't think we're going to get attacked. If they got a got him, we get got. That's just how it works, man. Got to keep them separated. Treachery? Don't be a treachery. That's not a treachery at all. Are you gonna you gonna bounce this guy? You have to. You basically have to. We can just kill Tefri. No, we can't. They got a stupid vigilant knight. Dang it. Where were you last turn? Oh, actually, we can kill the knight and then make a treasure so we have mana leak up. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. You have five cards. All right. So your pirates have minutes. So that is correct. That is a true story. True story. Remember that? That was from the old real world TV show, which is like the first reality TV show, wasn't it? I think so. God, Tefri is so good, dude. Why do they still have like a thousand cards in hand? Oh, we're gonna have a good time. Never. Now we get to kill Teferi with uh, Lava Claw Reaches. That's pretty good. Oh, I guess they get to untap two lands, but I don't know if that's gonna be really relevant. Oh, actually, we didn't do the step. Sorry, guys. Um, rather, I didn't. Update the stip command. Do we draw yet? Next turn? Next turn we're drawn? Okay. All right, let's get him. Oh, this is good. So we get to kill their Teferi. We have an active Vraska. We're drawing a Consecrated Sphinx, and we're also re resolving Ancestral Vision. Not bad. Remember that time we didn't even draft a... We, this deck was drafted by two people. Our opponent drafted their deck by themselves. <laughs> Even if they have, like, Armageddon, we're super ahead. <laughs> like, if their, like, plan is, like, Armageddon. Just, like, all right, two signets, two lands, Vraska. Okay. Okay. Did you want to, do you want to order food? I don't know. I don't know what I want yet. Well, think about it. Wasn't expecting a weekend stream, but I won't refuse. Awesome, Del. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Hey, you already got food plans? Uh, no. I mean, I have food here, but, you know, it's whatever. If you're on the right, then you won't be doing any. Why do I have this, uh, this Offspring song stuck in my head? Did someone actually quote this in the chat? I bet they did. Yeah, they made a pun about it. Did they? This guy got menace. I don't even care about your, your knights. Oh, that guy is problematic. I guess not really. I can just block that guy forever. 
Oh god, you have one mana. We get to do everything this turn, including play Consecrated Sphinx. Oh boy. Oh boy, our cup runneth over. Can we do both? I think we can do both of those. Oh man. <laughs> one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we're one shy? We can actually kill this guy and do both. I think that's probably worth it. Yeah, I like that. That's a good use of mana. Well, we're definitely trying to resolve this one first. a good turn. No attacks, because if they have a way to get rid of one of these guys, then Vraska dies. Oh, we get to draw two cards. Seems good. Oh, Metamorph? <laughs> copy either one of these for good times. For a good time, copy either one of these. How about a Patriotic Step for the July 4th? Only red, white, and blue. Yeah, that sounds great, actually. And you alternate picks? Oh, red, then white, then blue. Yeah, let's. we can do that. That seems cool. I would do that. Oh, his getting history back seems real good. What can we get back? Nothing. Dang. <laughs> sure. Seems reasonable. I'm just gonna kill it now. Oh, just attack with everybody. Oh yeah, we're definitely attacking with everybody. Faux show. Do we just metamorph the worm coil engine? Seems pretty decent. You mean Dees? Mm-hmm. These nuts. Um, let's make it so we can... Can we activate this? Yeah, we can actually keep that up to activate it. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. So I can go one, two, three. I can take two here. My friend, my opponent's like, what are you doing, dude? I'm just like, don't worry about it. You just keep on, keep on keeping on. We can also just copy the Consecrated Sphinx. That's a lot of cards. It's a good amount, though, right? Mm-hmm. I want to copy this guy in case they have a wrath effect. Like, if they wrath, we get six three, four three threes, and a Vraska. Seems good. I guess they're gonna kill the Vraska with the, with the this guy. This is a knight. Is a spirit cleric? Okay. Yep, that's a dude. It's not a great dude, but that's a dude. Are they dead? Like this is they have to block they have to block both of these. I guess you can go block with this guy, block here, block here, and take six. But then we have a Vraska that can just kill one of your dudes. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, it's all coming together now. This guy's a golem? I wouldn't mm -hmm. have thought this was a golem. This guy seems like a like a construct. construct yeah, yeah, exactly. Hmm. Do we just Jace and negative Jace? See what we get. We also have a Lava Claw Reaches to attack with. Why is that? Let's go. Did you guys see the new Blade Splicer 2079 or whatever it is? Oh, Scarab God. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ooh. We can Scarab God get back Demon Lord Bells and Lock. Or Dragon Lord Ojitai. 
Why would you give me... I'll choose the top pile. <laughs> Deal. Kill us, they go block, block one, block, block the other. They have to block all... They have to block both of these. So they go block, block, and then they have four guys. Yeah, I'm just going to kill this. I don't think there's any chance you actually come out ahead here. Uh, and we gain 12 life. That's a good amount. I feel comfortable with that. It's not the bade. Philip K. Johnson works fine for me. That's nice. That's, uh, that's a good meme. All right, you go to two. Uh, I don't get to choose there, unfortunately, because you're going to kill the, the pirate before things happen. So we, did we play land? Yes, we did. Okay. One, two, three. Nope, don't want to do that. Just want to use this. So, Scrabble God. And then we can choose between lots of things, like Dragon Lord Ojitai, Sun Titan, which doesn't really get us anything. I'll draw two more and go to nine. I feel like anyone who's like, you overvalue Consecrated Sphinx has never actually triggered a Consecrated Sphinx ability. That's my theory. As long as our opponent can't deal us 26 damage. I feel like we're safe here. Oh, we also have a treasure. We could have just cast our own Ojitai if we wanted to, but... I don't know where the fun in that is. Let's kill my scry counters. Oh, never mind. Scry counters? Yeah. Make two zombies. Scry and lose two. Why are you calling them counters, though? I don't know. <laughs> Look away in embarrassment. I don't know why I'm doing that. Do we bring in Jitte here? They got a lot of artifacts. Or a lot of creatures, rather. But we don't. We got ten. Uh -huh. Also, Ophiomancer makes tons of creatures for, the, for Jitte. Do you remember that time we had Belzenlock, Dross, Vraska, and Ancestral? That's actually just a better Muldrifter, right? Yeah, it's a pretty good mold drifter. And they tried to control magic it and it went to the graveyard. The makeshift mannequin was actually a benefit. I think we can cut the Rand Dynamo or Worn Power Stone. I'm leaning more toward Dynamo because Worn Power Stone ramps us to six. And we have yeah, two like signets. Power Stone better. Because like last game I felt like we were drawing way too much mana production because we have 17 lands, two signets, a Power Stone, and a Thran Dynamo. Your score for Bells and Lock is 7. That's way higher than mine. I think mine is actually 2. I've only ever gotten one card off of it. Wow. That's sad. You should really reevaluate your life. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Uh, this hand seems great. <laughs> actually, I mean, this hand seems fine if we can draw a black or a red land. I'm going to keep this. You crazy fool. I mean, Mana Leak is good, man. I got to cast Bells and Long Lives at 2 and live. That's actually good. Because then you got a 6-6. Six, six. Love Claw Reaches. It's castable. Not yet, it isn't. Well, I mean, assuming we draw any land. Black Cleave Cliffs into Savannah would be great. That's really where, that's where I, I want to be. I didn't even see we had that. This little Nighthawk? Yeah. That's the little Nighthawk that could. What if Bells and Lock had lifelink? That would be sick. They missed a land drop, dude. Oh my god, we're running so hot, dude. Like the sun. Imagine the sound Bone Shredder makes. No, I'm not doing that. 
We didn't see any counter spells, right? I think it makes a sound. Ree! Oh, that was probably really. That hurt my ears just doing it. Yeah, we're going to reveal here. What is it, Signet Two Lands? I'll take the two land pile. And then we'll discard Bone Shredder, I guess. Nighthawk's pretty far from casting. That's fair. We can discard. No, no, don't don't cast it. It's also a card we can get back if we copy a Sun Titan or if we get a Scarab God, so. Imagine if Frank hadn't made that sound. Wouldn't the world be a better place? What do you what what hand did you keep where like you can't cast anything with three lands on turn five? Oh, oh I know, I totally mm -hmm. forgot. I wasn't even thinking. That was so stupid. I feel like I felt like we were so far ahead that I got I just got relaxed. We can keep up Vraska and Manalik next turn though, which is pretty gas. That was stupid. Let's do it immediately. <sighs> Alright, done. I guess we'll add the black instead. Black, green. Cryptic command. No, nothing. Okay. Nothing command. Okay. Did they mold a five? I didn't even look. Oh, they did go to five. Ooh, that's rough. I did not realize. Now, now I'm more understanding of their plight. Let's see in the sky. Ooh, a Mox Emerald, eh? A classic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do that. If they bring it back, we'll Bone Shredder it. Oh, we get to play a Karn for free right now? See if we can hit a mana drain. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's just three gases. I'll take whatever two you give me. Yeah, we're definitely getting rid of this Tundra. It puts them off this for another turn. I'll take these. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Karn. This guy's liberated. And scoop face. No scoop face? I'm impressed by your lack of scoop phase. Three planeswalkers is pretty good. It's not bad. The super friends are in full force right now. That's a good dude. Can we just put them to one and kill them here? <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> God, Vraska, you're ridiculous. This card has super impressed me in this cube. It deals with so many things. Got him. Oh, wow. Six drop, six drop, control magic, baleful strix. Control magic actually pretty bad when we play no real creatures. That's actually pretty interesting. And a baleful strix. I don't think we saw black at all. I guess we saw, like, didn't they have, like, a land? They had, like, a scrub land, maybe? Yeah, Here's they had scrub, scrub land. land. Wow. That's rude. I 
<laughs> now I see the Vraska upticks make purple. So yeah, it's like, I'd rather just win the game than take away their Mox Emerald. Someone in this chat asked, is someone in a uh, YouTube comment asked, is mayonnaise a mana rock? That's a, that's a good question. Huh. Oh, I'm going to keep it just because of this ancestral vision. And because it's a medium hand. A medium hand. We can cast both of these. And then any, any black land, let's just cast these. This is all assuming that we hit a land by turn three, which seems pretty reasonable. I keep trying to teach you about Gravgurt, the brand new product that lets you carry gravy on the... <laughs> okay, so Gravgurt would be gravy yogurt. Wouldn't it be GoGrav? Because you're taking the Gurt part of GoGurt, which is the yogurt part, and mixing it with the gravy part. So now you just have yogurt gravy, which is just gross. Oh, next time we can just copy this Llanowar Elf. That's pretty baller. Gurvy, ew, Gurvy sound. Go Grav and Gurvy both sound disgusting. So does Gravgurt. They all sound terrible. This is the most American. Can you just have black mana so I can Ophiomancer? Ophiomancer. Just where I want just where I want to be. Okay, I accept that. Gurvy does sound like scurvy. Have you ever had yogurt on a burger? No. No, I have not. Yogurt on a burger? When yogurt's on a burger, you can have burgers anytime. Unless you're talking about tzatziki sauce, because that's technically a yogurt. <sighs> you're technically a yogurt. <sighs> Got him. Did you guys see me get him? This is where they try to sit on our land. I don't think I... No, I don't want this guy coming down. Actually, we could have metamorphed that guy. That would have been cool. I'll just metamorph something better. I don't even care. Burger. <laughs> Yovi? What is even happening in this chat right now? Black mana, please. Let me boop you. Boop. Got him. <sighs> Jeez. Boop. Well, we got the black mana. Boop, 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 boop. Fashion related to the party. Oh, well, we draw three cards next turn. Who's complaining? You are. Uh... When pizza's on a go-gurt, you can eat opposition anytime. That's annoying. You're right. I'll tap down your black cleave cliffs. You got it. Any black source so I can terminate one of these idiots. I accept. Hmm. I feel like I have to bone shredder here, right? Probably. Would you put veggies on a burger? <laughs> Why are we talking about burgers? Which is yogurt burgers. That's none of this is okay. Oh, metal worker. Isn't that cute? I don't foresee us paying for this guy. Done. Oh, you should have waited. Oh, that's tempting. I think we can just I think we have the luxury of playing Power Stone here though. All right, this is our moment. From this moment they're tapping out from... That does nothing. That literally gives us all the time in the world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Land, land. Yes. Big worms. 
into this. Keep up managering. It seems good. I guess they could tap this guy, but I mean, that's only gonna last you so long. So long. We also gotta Frexy metamorph this this worm. Are you just thinking about food over there? A little bit. What are you thinking about? Maybe it's hungry howies. Man, that's all you eat is hungry howies. Well, I can tell you I won't be eating Mexican food because I've had it the last two nights. Well, that's because it's the only thing that's open when you get home. Yeah, pretty much. I know it's gonna be. I told you that that was like my biggest concern is just like finding food when you get off work. At I could have gone to that. There's that diner I can go to. Steak and Shake's also like open. I don't know where one of those is around here though. Oh, this is just gorgeous. <laughs> Oh my god. Not only would that be backbreaking against the opposition, we also get seven mana. And we get to attack with Worm Coil Engine. That's pretty backbreaking. Let's do some cards first. Huh. We can actually makeshift mana. Kit. Oh, we can actually use either of these to get back the Bone Shredder. Um. Yeah, this we game. Also make shift, is it oh, we can makeshift mannequin yeah. Avenger of Zendikar. No. Oh, it's your graveyard. Dang. I figured it would be any because it's it's so fragile. Yeah, I'm just taking this one. Uh, let's destroy an artifact and kill your elf. Red, black, colorless. I felt like a good turn. Is that a good turn? It Ooh. seemed decent. Oh, I almost slid my mouse off my desk. Sure. All done. Okay. You got it. So we get to kill Garrick, which is nice. I'm going to get rid of this because... Oh, Gonti for show. Pile two. Let's see what you got. Old Ganty. I'll take this guy. <laughs> this is gas, dude. Oh, boy. We're having a good time. And we have no cards in hand. I, run, I wanted to make it so that they can't actually exploit... Um, exploit us terribly with... Yeah, we're just going to attack Garrick with both. I mean, if we attack with one, they just block the one we attack with. So, we'll just gain 12 and attack them with both. If you'd like to mind slaver us, that is your choice. Oh, Tinker. Mirror Battle Sphere. Blightsteel Colossus. Hmm. All right. Well. Are they just dead here? They got three blockers. They go block, block, block. And they still take infinite. Um, they'll block these two. This guy will get blocked by Primeval Titan. They'll block both of these guys. And they take one, two, three, four, five. 1, 2, 3 to activate. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, I think they're just dead. Let's go to combat. I guess we have to. That's going to be one of our biggest guys, so we'll wait. They have to activate it, right? Oh, you're waiting for them. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, wow. They just let us get through. They block here. They take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, now they're not dead. And then they can just tap a dude at the end of the turn. And they can tap 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, yeah, activating this is bad. Yeah, I forgot about that. That was stupid. Am I just giving this game up? If they don't draw a creature, we're fine. Sure. Actually, we're not fine. They can they can tap down both of these guys and then kill us with the this guy. Yeah, that's actually amazing. Yeah, I shouldn't have activated this. I totally did the math wrong. Like I locked myself into the Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We get to live the fight another day. Interesting. Yeah, that's really interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. How did we manage this? That is a dude. So they can tap two things now, two things later, and... Thank you. Certified Go Gaming, thanks so much for the sub, really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Are they dead now? I don't know. They still block double here, they take six, seven, eight, nine. No, they're not dead now. Well, plus the Lava Claw reaches. Well, yeah, but now I guess if they block the Lava Claw, if they don't block the Lava Claw reaches, then they die. So they have to block you 6, 12, 13, 4. I think we're I think we have we went to attack, so no, they're not dead. Alright. Oh man. <laughs> oh. God. They would have been dead. Well, no, because if we activated this, then they tap it. Yeah, I guess they yeah. It's they the timing. The timing yeah. is so weird. Um They can go tap at the end of turn. Tap tap at the end of turn. Tap at the end of turn. Tap during their turn. Tap during their turn. We'll have a demon lord up. All right, we're just gonna attack here. Should make things easier. Signet. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we still have mana to activate the the boy. Makeshift Mannequin is actually great here. Can we do anything? What do we exile off of Gonti? Uh, Primeval Titan. Okay. And we already played it, so. Alright, we're just going to keep up Makeshift Mannequin. Not dead yet. Tap down Worm Coil. God, Opposition is such a dirty card, dude. Yep, you got it. Oh, actually, we are dead because of the stupid... I forgot this. Yeah. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I totally forgot. My head is not in this game for some reason. Yeah, we threw this away. Did we? Mm-hmm. Last turn? Yep. He gave us, he goofed just enough to give us a window. But we goofed right back. Oh, we should have, if we, I don't think we bone, bone shrink EOT doesn't do anything. We still have one extra guy to tap down. Maybe we gone to hit bounce? Yeah, I guess. I don't think we're going to have the mana to cast whatever it is, though. It's a problem. We just get to see more cards this way, though. So it's a, it's a good, it's a good idea. 
cannot bone shred a worm coil. That is not how bone shredder works. <laughs> sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. I take five. Yeah, we're dead. All right. That sucks. Yeah, we definitely gave that game away. You can't make shift opponent's graveyard. It's only your graveyard. I like that the chat is literally just people who don't know how any of the cards work. <laughs> That's... Yeah, it seems fine. Kite Sail Freebooter actually seems pretty good here. I guess we could have played uh, Consecrated Sphinx in response to their attack with the Blightsteel and then had it destroy the Blightsteel. Oh, yeah. That definitely does that. I was just trying to fit in with the chat, really. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this hand's great. I, I like this hand a lot. Turn three Gonti. It was also... It was just tricky because of the priority. Like, if they're like... If they pass... Oh, wonderful. If they pass and you don't... Oh, really? It's annoying. If they pass and you don't respond, then it just goes to the next step, right? So, like, if they pass, then it's your... Then you're like, okay, I guess I'll activate Lava Claw Reaches. And they can just be like, oh, we'll tap it now. Okay. Sure. Colagon's command off the top would be disgusting. Let's make shift Manny. We get that Solemn Simulacrum. That's pretty cool. Or... Don't care about Thran Dynamo. Don't care about Metal Worker. I think it's just Solemn Simulacrum here. Yep. Oh, wow. I get a Primeval Titan next turn. That's pretty good. Why couldn't that have been in your top six? Four. Yeah, look. A new mod. Yes, if they tapped it, had 15 power to attack with. That's correct. I'm not disagreeing that it was incorrect. I'm just saying that uh, I didn't think about it because I was I was confused by the way priority worked. All right. Walking Ballista. Pretty sure we just Lava Claw reaches into Solemn here. Unfortunately, we don't have any green mana that we can search for. Still feels correct. I guess we just get another island because we have infinite black sources. Look at this top of your deck, man. There's no lands there. It's hilarious. So he's playing Ulamog, Emrakul, and Blightsteel Colossus. That is super greedy. I mean, they have a Mana Vault. They also have they have Eureka, too. So yeah. If they happen to have Eureka, Primeval Titan, Ulamog in hand, it's pretty good. I'll, I'll block either one of these creatures. Yeah, but Ulamog is a man, not a lady. I don't understand. Whoa, 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 he's a lady. No, he's... What? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> he's not. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. 
Sure. Oh, you're just going to block it? Oh, no. Don't do that. Yes. Oh, come on, man. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Blightsteel Colossus on the top of the deck for you. God, they're just never gonna... Oh, an island. Dang it. That's gonna get played. That's gonna get played, too. Alright. Well, that was pretty good. Now you can play your Garrick. Or your Primeval Titan, rather. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If we actually draw um, a green land here, we can actually Veraska kill the Primeval Titan... Makeshift, we can't makeshift mannequin, it's still not ours. Dang it. Okay, forest on top. Titan gone. I still want a green mana to kill that thing because it's very, very good. You guys know about that? Do you guys know about Primeval Titan and how good it is? I think we're dead this match. We messed up real bad last game. We can also just activate Lava Claw Reaches and get in there. That's pretty good. How much can we deal here? A lot? Interesting. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. I'm surprised you didn't shoot that with your walking ballista. That seems significantly better. But I guess we get to do this, and you can shoot this instead. What? They have Eureka in hand? Why didn't they just cast Eureka last turn? Who knows? What in the actual earth? That's really weird. What? How is anything I have better than Ulamog Emrakul? What? And you had Primeval Titan, so you also would have gotten a Primeval Titan out of your deck. This is really strange. That confused equity is real high right now. That is some value. I guess we could have had control magic, but like... What are you waiting for? I mean, like... I don't know. That still seems real weird. There you go. You gonna do it now? No? Still no. Oh, now you're gonna do it. Okay. It's today's music to jive. Is today's music to jive for you today? Only you can order this two-disc collection of music you remember being good, sung by Mike B. Such hits as "He's a Lady," "Dude Looks Like a Lady," and "Holding Out for a Hero." <laughs> hmm. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I can make no guarantees for the quality of these singles, but can we kill Oracle? That works, right? Yes, it does, actually. Unfortunately, he still has a new log. I got a bells and lock. Yes.
They're top. They're they're drawing a bird. Like we can take. We can just take this hit or block with something. And we have tons of permanents to sacrifice. I mean, this guy's gonna actually kill the Varaska, presumably. But I'm actually just gonna play a Nighthawk here. Why didn't we make Shift Matic in the Emerald? Because that's not how Makeshift Mannequin works. So, so far people don't know how Makeshift Mannequin works. For the fifth works. time, <laughs> it's still, Makeshift Mannequin still only targets your graveyard, not your opponent's. I want to see this Bells Unlock kill them. Ten, <laughs> ten walking home drunk bits. Mike knows what's up. Does he? I don't know if he does know what's up about the walking home. I walk home drunk every night. Do you? Yeah. Wow. So they have three and dynamo and they just drew a land. No, they drew birds. I mean, Annihilator 4 is no joke, but we have lots of things to sacrifice, including a... Yeah, we're probably going to block with Gonti. I'm putting two counters on this is a little scary. Why don't we warm Power Stone the Ulamog? I like it. Jeez, this is fantastic. I hear you, I hear you, but when the Emrakul Shuffle Trigger was on the stack and the Emrakul was in the graveyard, you could have cast Makeshift Mannequin and then stolen the Emrakul. That's a good point, I didn't consider that. Why don't we wreck the Sand <laughs> What? Oh, can you pull up the Gatherer from Makeshift Mannequin and keep it on screen at all times? I feel like it needs to be done. One... Two, three, four. You're attacking my face. I guess we just block here with a Gonti. I don't really want to go. Yeah, we have to. We have to block actually. Otherwise, we die to walking ballista. So, what can we draw to get us out of this mess? I guess we can replay a Gonti. Yeah, we just... Oh, stupid bird. Yeah, we get rid of the bird, we attack for eight, and then we hopefully attack for eight again. It's actually very good. No, wait, then we died a walking ballista. Dang it. Hold on. No. Well, we can make shift mannequin in response and then block whatever they... Okay. Right? Yeah. A walking ballista is going to have a ton of counters. We have to figure out how to do this. We can kill the bird of mannequin. That's a good point. I like it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana's good. You know, the only thing they have is walking ballista, but they can put one, two, three, four, five. This guy has trample too, actually. We might just want to attack. I don't think we want to kill the bird. Maybe we just make another guy. Because I can block walking ballista, which is pretty strong. I guess we could pill Walking Ballista. We can pill it? We can pill it, yeah. Why does this guy have Indestructible is what I want to know. Now you can Ulema, Ulema, drain, Mana Drain Ulamog, huge fan. <laughs> oh, good times. The only creature in our graveyard is Gonti and Kite Sail Freebooter. Jeez. Yeah, we're just attacking with these two and seeing what happens. Like, they could actually put two counters on it and kill the Nighthawk. Sure. I feel like Walking Ballista is actually going to kill us here. Target Ballista is not great because then they just do a bunch of things in response. They kill Nighthawk in response. We only have Bells and Lock. And then we also don't have a Vraska at that point, so. Sure.
Why doesn't Bells and Lock have lifelink? I don't know. It's a good question. They're at two. I kind of just want to play mannequin to see if we hit anything. But then, like, then again, knowing they're drawing this is four, like a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're dead. Unless they don't, unless they let us block. They could very well let us block. God, they go to one, too. That's hilarious. Gilded Lotus. All right, don't care about that. Nope, that ain't gonna do what we wanna do. One, two, three. Yeah, that's where they kill it immediately. Unsummon one time. Give me, give me a card I can actually cast off of your... This is an aggressive ballistaing here. Emrakul off the top, sure. Literally lose by two points. Cool. Yeah, that's frustrating. This would have actually done insanely. <laughs> like, we could have actually killed both of these last turn if we drew this instead. Yep. Cool. Dang. I'm going to actually switch out to the Jitte for the Thran Dynamo. We could mind slave for the Emrakul and make her go into our deck. That's a yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. I hadn't think about I hadn't thought about that. I will play first. Well, we got a Jitte. That we did. Can I? There you go. <laughs> I was like, can this island come into play? Hey, man, what are you going to eat for food? I don't know. Okay, well. I'm going to have to figure it out. Taking hungry Howie's. Well, you're welcome to get some. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pass. I had some pizza for lunch. We can get something else. Well, then, I'm, then, then let me know. Maybe I'll go to Don Poncho. I thought you were tired of Mexican. Yeah, but that's real Mexican. I've only had fake Mexican. It's messed up. Wow, they took the makeshift mannequin. How are we going to makeshift our scrubland? There ain't no way to get that in the graveyard. One time I heard of this card, Chaos Orb, and you could sprinkle its ashes over your foes and win. You should have done that. I like that idea. All right, so neither of us have things to do, but I have a Jitte, so I'm feeling good about that. It's true, you can't be tired of Mexican. Hungry Howie's but we also have sandwiches. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, Cola Gods command you and make you discard a card and destroy your jitty. Your little jitty. Well, at least we know this worm coal is going to live. One Don Ponch Buck. <laughs> nice. Oh, good times. Good times. Oh, that's good. All right. Well, red mana would be nice, but at least we get a worm coil next turn. Unless they make us discard it. 
but I doubt they're going to do that. Is Wormcoil literally going to be the first creature of the game? Nope, guess not. Acidic Slime's coming down. Deranged Hermit. Okay, I accept. Again, no opposition, so well, that's pretty okay. For crying out loud, really. I guess two of our red sources right now are going to come in and play tapped, so... God, even if they kill this with any of the traditional gr green, red, or black removal, we still get two creatures out of it. That's a good deal. Pay it. Pay it. Pay the upkeep. What up, Connor Ryan? Good seeing you again, buddy. Long time. Long time, dong time. I don't think that means what you think it means. <laughs> they didn't pay the upkeep. So I think our one non-tapped red source is Rakdos Signet. Mannequin one of those squirrels and get in there. One stop saying Jitty, Buck. What? Am I saying Jitty? It's a Jitty. It's Umazawa's Jitty. With our catapult turtle, we can launch our Gaia Dragon Champion toward their castle's flotation ring, thereby shattering it and causing it to collapse on top of their monsters, killing them and ridding our opponents of the rest of their life points. That actually sounds like a reasonable game of magic. I'm... Surprised they didn't implore that strategy before. Also, I will definitely take a mana drain. Off the top. I don't think it's one syllable. It's actually Jite. With a with an accent on the A. There's an A involved? I'm gonna equip this dude and get in there with damage. That's how Magic the Gathering works. Oh, do we just get to eat this squirrel? Are you going to kill your own squirrel? <laughs> it's a really jitty thing to say. What are they doing here? What? Are you you're killing my guy and getting your sure. I get two I get two guys, you know. Jokes on you. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll keep it with two blue. Nope, yep. Nope, yep. I can still Coligon's command get back my worm coil. That's pretty good. Did you know about that? No. You will one day. Never. One day. Coende. Coende. Got a bunch of squirrels. They're really doing nothing. I mean, if they tap out for deranged tournament, it's pretty good for us. We can still lava claw reaches our warm coil too. We can do everything. Oh, I see. I understand now. I'm having a less good time than I was a moment ago. See you later, Jit. Wow, these black sources are really coming in. Coming in hot. I wish this Terminate was a Dread Boar right now. God, Vraska's so strong, dude. Kills everything. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. I'm intrigued. What up, big worm? You should 
probably have the calling on command in a worm coil talk with Mike. I think he's holding up. Eating a sandwich. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm actually a turbine IRL huge fan. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. Zaxor, the rest of my bits, if I don't make it, goes to chat. <laughs> Why did you cake me now? You could have destroyed your tokens. Uh, I guess that's a good point. Oh, I see. I'm having a good time. Well, I guess we're in top deck mode now, boys. The price spike is probably speculation, which is weird. I feel like there hasn't been enough data to, to be collected in modern to unban anything. There's no real... There's no talkings. There's like, as far as I know, there's no murmurings about things getting unbanned in modern, so. So we know you have Hermit in hand. Do Hermit just... McDermott. I don't think Stoneforge Mystic is too strong. You don't have Jitte in the format. You don't have, um, like, Batter Skull is not a big deal with Kolagon's command. I don't think it's it's a it's a one two for two. Oh yeah, that's great. Get rid of that Frasca so I don't deal with it anymore. Good deal. Oh, and now you're gonna play your hermit. That's cool. Hermits for days. No, oh, that was a good draw. Do I plus Jace? If I plus Jace and he pays for Hermit, uh, they're all gonna be ones we can eat. One, and then Jace takes three. Seems decent. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Obviously, worse if they don't pay for Hermit. But if they if they pay for Hermit, it's basically like a time walk. Yeah, it's fine. This is where they go Dreadboard Jace. And we feel real bad about everything. Sure, Jace goes to one instead. Yeah, wishing I tapped differently, but I just tapped. I wasn't sure what we were going to do with Jace, and that's what I based my tappage on. So. That's sad. Cool land. Great draw. Yep, that's probably going to cost us, actually, because otherwise we could have actually negative Jace and drawn some cards, but... Yeah, this has been not our finest. Ring, chase, chase, chase. Sure. No attack at me? Interesting. Hey, man, how you doing over there? You're not really saying anything, but you're not eating either, so I don't know what's going on. You're right. I'm doing neither of those things. Okay. Well, hope you're enjoying watching these games of Magic with me. Yeah, they're alright. Okay. Why don't they attack with this guy? I don't understand. Because they're stupid. Oh, That's I guess why. it's because it doesn't matter, right? Like, if they attack our face, we just block that one instead. So it doesn't really do anything. Oh, get back to Vraska. I don't even know regrowth is in this cube. Now you do. Now you have that knowledge. I guess I do. Just kill Lava Clarges here. We're pretty far behind. I guess if we can top deck uh, Sphinx, that'd be good. But 
I assume they're just going to kill that with Vraska. Yep. All right, we're just going to go to the next game. We got Jundid. No, no green for that. I wonder if Sword's pretty good here. Can't be targeted by Vraska. Can't be dismembered. Can't be Kolagon's commanded if they have it equipped. They'd have to kill that. I'm doing it. You crazy madman. Also Freebooter here some for something. Yeah, I'll bring in Freebooter for Terminate. Terminator percolator. I don't know what you're saying right now. Can you hear me? I heard you. I don't know what you're saying right now. I'm saying Terminator Percolator. Well, I guess now I know. Yeah. That's Gotta half the keep battle. Them percolating. Hey, hey, don't, hey, don't mind. Sure. I think I think it's Vampire Nighthawk's gonna get there. You ready? I'm waiting. You won't have to wait for long. Under 18. What about a higher CMC step? Once you take your first pick, you have to take a card that is one higher. If you can't, just take the one that is the next. If there's nothing more expensive, then you start the chain over. That's interesting. Make shift mannequin every time. Seems good. I mean, these guys are good, though. It's like two mall drifters. Well, that's a good one. <laughs> Have you tried washing your hand, you bloody savage? Don't kill my Nighthawk, bro. That is a card I do not care about. Mox, Mox Jet, Mox r r r Sapphire right off the top. Soaring. Soaring off the top so we can cast his bells unlock. There you go. Cycle, cycle that dude. Draw your crads. Draw them crads. How do you draw crads? Why don't you ask your mom? She knows. Brrr. Hey mom, what's a crad? Oh, you don't know? Okay, bye. Why'd you make that weird note? That was rude. I'm having a good time. No, it's the Nighthawk's gonna get there, man. Don't worry about it. I didn't have a comment for that. Like, this is... You literally made me discard through my best spells. That's fun. Cool. Maelstrom Pulse, Chain Lightning. Oh, good. <laughs> Four turns, I got a thing going on. I'm tempted to actually just copy this guy now. Then again, they have to have better creatures. Come on. Like, really? I couldn't have kept one of those? That's stupid. On the bright side, Frag, you did have a sixth land to cast them with. Oh, good. Double Planeswalkers. Fantastic. Be sure to kill my Nighthawks so that I don't have anything on the board. Thank you. Oh, uh, I think it's fine if it's late in the game and you don't actually need the lands. If you're actively drawing... If you're actively trying to cast things, though, I think you need to be playing lands. Oh, a deranged hermit. That you can random X turn for 17 guys. If this is a land, we're just scooping. <laughs> actively worse than a land. Yep. 
We're just going to concede here. Our hand does absolutely nothing against this matchup. All right. Unfortunately, this is our first 1-2 in a while. Um, this deck was not as cohesive as it could have been, but that's all part of the plan, I think. I don't think us drafting two independent decks is really going to work out uh, all the time. So... Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have been great with stipulations. If you guys are interested in submitting your own, check out my Twitch profile. The links are both in the description. Um, and uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.